Hi YouTube, this is Mindful Mary, no longer Mad Mamas, because I don't have a lot to be mad about anymore, but I wanted to do a video on uh, some things that I've noticed about Florida. Um, the people are crazy here, let me, let me just flat out say it, they're crazy. The things that happen here in Florida are things that aren't normal. I'm originally from North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina. That's my hometown, like one of my hometowns. And in comparison, living in Florida and then moving back and forth to North Carolina from Florida is a huge difference. The people in North Carolina are a lot more courteous, calm, peaceful, respectful, hospitable. Okay, you don't point, you don't stare. If you're going to stare at someone, you wave, you say hello. Here in Florida, they, everyone says it's Florida is dysfunctional because they have people from all over. I don't know how true that is because I find that a lot of locals or people who are truly Floridians find them to be just as dysfunctional as people who come from other places. <sighs> Let's just say, what a fucking week I've had just by living in Florida. I know we have Kennedy Space Center. I don't know. Maybe people are getting abducted or something from aliens or some shit. People weird. Like, I can't even get it out and articulate how fucked up the people are here. I cannot, like, Get it out for me, guys. Say it for me. Yeah, that's that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> like it's crazy. What a fucking week. Just to leave your home in Florida, you have to brace yourself. You have to get yourself mentally, physically prepared. Put your boxing gloves on. Get ready to speak in tongues and curse everybody out, just to get things done. Okay, people are so unprofessional. They're late. They're inconsiderate. They don't care about your emotions. They're on drugs. They're sick. They have disorders. They like and like I just how is one place so messed up? The system here makes is there's no system here. And maybe that's the problem. There's no system here. The system is so flawed that just to get graduate from massage school, I graduated in four months in a six-month program. You go to North Carolina or any other state, it's at least 12 months. Okay? They just throw people out here in the field of any profession and say you're a professional when they're not. Just to be a nail tech, I think it's like two, three months two months just to be an esthetician they're lowering lowering the standards for that too you only need maybe like 350 credits like how are people there's no one professional here no one wants to work no one never wanted to work in florida before covid they had bums and lazy people okay we just see double of more hiring signs that were already there before covid Okay? Like, something's not right with Florida. What is it with this state where everyone is corrupt? Just basic people. You can't go into a store in certain towns like Daytona or uh, like Deland and these types of Palm Port Orange and Ormond area without a crazy person approaching you. People, I, what am I, like a magnet for freaks? I had a woman jump out of her vehicle to ask me to zip her dress up for her. I'm with my child. Oh, he's telling me to zip her. Why would I zip your fucking dress? Why would I want to fucking touch your fucking body? Call me a bitch? I wouldn't even mind. Because I'm not touching you. <sighs> okay, I go into a wig store. Chinese people. They tell me my hair is too long. I can't try on a wig. 
I wear wigs for work every day. I tried it on yesterday. The guy didn't say anything about it. Now, like, I had to deal with that. Yeah, what else? Need to get my car towed because the people at Walmart don't ever go, the another thing, don't ever go to Walmart. I think it's really Walmart. It's in Florida. Never go there to get your vehicle serviced. I don't care if it's just for an oil change or a tire or a battery. They will put your battery in backwards. They will fuck up your tire and they will create problems with your vehicle just for an oil change that isn't there. Costing you a lot of money. What you do is file a claim like I did. You file a claim so that they can handle that situation. You can. They will pay for the damages because it, it doesn't make sense. Okay? Like issue after issue I'm like this is something like this is only happens in the twilight zone back to back to back bullshit when I live in North Carolina the biggest obstacle I have in my life is maybe something just as simple as my car acting up fixable that is the biggest obstacle in my life when I lived in North Carolina if you have money you fix it that's it like, you, do, I don't have to brace myself to prepare to argue with someone I may meet who's having a bad day at the post office. Okay? Like, these things aren't normal. And really, when you think about mental health and wellness, people who are just angry, for the hell of being angry, irritated, frustrated, taking their anger out on people, they don't have control over themselves, and they're mentally ill. Like, their well-being is messed up. Okay? Like, that's not normal to be angry. Or manic. Or bipolar. Or PTSD. In stress. Fight or flight mode. All the time. Okay? Cortisol. In your body constantly. And they wonder why they're sick and dying from cancer. You're killing yourself with the stress. I don't want to be around these people, okay? I live in a retirement state. Most of the people are old. Old, angry, and on medication. Alright? But you know what? The young people here are fucked up too. Can't even put an age on it. But most of the older people are crazier. Let's just put it that way. But just, I just can't. What a week I've had. That's all I can say. Like, <sighs> What a fucking week. Fucking crazy ass motherfuckers here. God knows. I dated this guy once. He was way shorter than me. He was older. He's Persian. And it was like two years ago. And he he had the same scenarios happen to him. So he understood me. But maybe it was more extreme with him. There are often times where I meet other people and they would mention that they're so, they would tell me some of their experiences that they've had here living in Florida. There's a saying, you come to Florida on vacation, you leave on probation. And there's some truth to that. Okay? Like, I've had before, this is a few years back, I, had, I got arrested because I pulled a knife out on a woman. I'm pumping my gas and a man is talking to me. I'm like, what is he talking about? He's asking me for money. I drew over Audi back then. And, uh, yeah, like, maybe, I don't know. He just thought I had money. And he's asking me for money. I was like, fuck off. Finish pumping my gas. This lady, boom, she's right behind me. I'm like, who the fuck is this lady? She's just standing right behind me. You don't think I feel threatened? I went to my car and got a knife. Back the fuck up. I'm pumping my gas. I can't just leave. My gas is pumping, you idiots. She calls the police on me. I backed into her. Get the fuck away. I'm threatened. Okay? So, like, little stuff like that. It makes you wonder. Is this... A, is this... Am I being set up? Who's... Who, is this a prank? I just can't... I just had to do a video on this to vent. Because this shit is stupid. I'm over it, okay? Oh, I, oh, no, let me tell you another thing. I went to Dunkin' Donuts in the drive-thru. 
feeling great, you know, doing my thing, let's do my Michael Jackson. And the girl, my daughter says, Mommy, that girl looks weird. Look how big her eyes are. I'm thinking, why should, what, okay. Well, then the girl was uh, ordering my food and she just, out. Of, I finished ordering my food, but she's standing there looking at me like this. I said, are you okay? You ha What's wrong? It's, can I help you with something? Why are you staring at me? Oh, well, you're staring at me. Your job is done. Go get my food. Like, literally. I, it's, uh, alien bitches. What the fuck? Her eyes did look weird. Maybe she was autistic or something. but Or alien in disguise. I don't know. But the weird phenomena that happened here, could it be that Florida is the craziest state in the United States because it is houses the space station center is here? Kennedy Space Center is here. Could that be it? Okay. Because I got some more stories to tell you, okay, about especially about that area, that Titusville area where the space center is. Okay, it's a little shanky and weird. Stay tuned. But I just had to vent a little bit. But if you all want to hear some of those space station stories, like weird phenomena happening, write a comment or something. <laughs> Bye.